Welcome to day three as we talk about the subject of greater things. We've been reading this verse from the book of John, chapter 14. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I've been doing, and they will do even greater things than these because I'm going to the Father. Jesus is saying, not only will we do the things that he did, but we'll do even greater things than he did. Wow, let's take a look at some of the miracles that he did during his ministry years here on earth. He turned water into wine. He raised a widow's son to life in Mark 7. There's the story at the pool of Bethesda. Uh, he opened blind eyes. He healed the paralytic that was let down through the roof. Jesus healed the multitudes that came to him from Matthew 12. He calms the storm on the sea in Matthew 8, and also in Matthew 8, he cast out demons from the herd of pigs. On and on we could go. I mean, there's so many miracles recorded in Scripture, yet he instructs us that we can do even greater things than he did. I believe that the best answer that we can give as to how this can be achieved is that we need to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, Acts 1.8. But you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit's come upon you. And you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Our small group operating in the supernatural is longing to be used by the Lord in the miraculous on March 7th. We have our next healing service. We'll have a time of worship followed by a brief teaching. And then we call people forward from the small group to pray healing over those who come. But you know what? You don't need to attend a meeting to be healed. We mentioned that someone came down to the front after a service recently for prayer. And we've been telling you about the healing service, but sometimes God just simply decides to show up and show off like he did for me. Uh, after my accident about a year and a half ago, many of you heard my testimony, but let me just sum it up to say that I had a bad accident. It resulted in me needing major reconstruction in my hip. I was at Duke Hospital probably four or five days after my surgery, one morning I was in worship and I felt, literally felt, the hand of the Lord come upon me. I mean, it was overwhelming. I suddenly burst into tears. Nobody in the room, just me with worship music in the presence of God, and I felt them come on me. I had four broken ribs. Huh. I felt that pressure slide down to my hip and I felt the hand of God on me. And heat, it was, it was hot. And I'm trembling at this point in the presence of the Lord, and I knew that from that moment on, something miraculous had happened in me. I didn't ask the Lord that day to show up. He just decided to show up. He loves us that much. He is an amazing God, and sometimes before we even ask, He's there to meet us in our time of need. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for who you are. Lord, I'm asking you to minister healing to somebody who's watching right now. Maybe they didn't even ask for it, but God, you're just gonna, they're gonna notice that throughout this day today, something's changed, something's different. Lord, we thank you that we have been given the authority of the name of Jesus to proclaim healing. Let your power flow. Receive all the honor and the praise in Jesus' name, amen. Have an awesome day, we'll see you tomorrow.